Hello and welcome to a new corner of the house. You've never seen this corner of the house before. Um, it's our new shelf. I just purchased it from the Target. And I'm very happy about it because we had a really crusty old shelf that was about the same age as Julian and it didn't look good. I got a lot of cool stuff on my shelf and I want to show it off. But that's not what today is about. Today is about uh, my finals week as an art major. My hair looks so flat. I look kind of crazy right now. I just showered yesterday and so now I didn't I normally put like a clip here so I have a little bit more height but um I'm currently balding so I'm a bald old man this is how Brittany Broski feels talking to a camera being like I'm bald <laughs> hi bald um so yes the week started out as every other week just kidding it started off on a Sunday so we went to uh, my family's house on the weekend of Thanksgiving and then we came home and we celebrated our engagement anniversary and so we were planning on going to like hang out at the park I just wanted to record the walk it's pretty It's just really nice. It's just really good. I have to remember. You don't have to. I need pink juice to survive. I need to like seal this off. They didn't sponsor me. Just pink juice. And then on Sunday, after the park, we were like, oh, we're so relaxed, we're so refreshed. I looked at my Canvas notifications and it said that I had an assignment of 10 sketchbook pages due the next Tuesday. And these aren't just normal, average, run-of-the-mill sketchbook pages. No, this is for some reason, it was like specified, it was like only do not turn in half finished work, it has to be like a finished illustration, a finished piece, a finished artwork in your sketchbook. And I was like, God damn it! So we went to work. All day Monday, I was trying to, I was taking po pictures of poses I wanted to do, I was sketching, I was doing all the stuff so that I could just quickly do the line work and get done with it. And I should have allotted myself a lot more time, but I didn't. So there. Um, I also had to work on my final for that art class, and so a lot of drawing, a lot of drawing, a lot of wrist moves. Tuesday I went to an advisor meeting, and essentially this is kind of what ended up happening. Hello Ida! like to check up on my stuff before I graduate. It looks like I only have this many classes. Um, so I was wondering if this class that I took this semester and this class that I took last semester will actually cancel these two requirements out. No, you have to take them again. I already took them twice. I would like to not take them again. No, you're taking them again. Also, I want you to graduate the next semester. So you need to take all five of these classes. And then I proceeded to not take all five of those classes because I like being alive and I feel like that would really hinder my ability to take care of myself because it has in the past. And I don't feel like paying for classes, I'm just gonna drop. So there. Editing me here. I also completely forgot that we had a person in the house that week. We had a um, repair person come and fix our bedroom door that has been broken for two years and our toilet seat. Went to class, worked on my project, and found out that the sketchbook that I had been working so hard on since Sunday was not due. But I had already finished it, so I'm not gonna redo them, so I just handed it in anyway. Came home, went to bed, don't remember anything else. I don't remember anything about this week, to be honest with you, if I didn't film it. I wouldn't believe I had actually done anything. Wednesday, I went to my internship, my last day at my internship, which is the main reason for this extended hiatus, has just been because I didn't have time to film and I didn't have time to edit. And if I, if my, it's an art channel. I like to make art that goes along with the things I'm talking about. <sighs> couldn't do it. Couldn't even, I couldn't even force myself to draw if it wasn't for an assignment. And I didn't want to bore you with charcoal. And I'm sorry, graphite and charcoal are boring. 
I don't like that. I've, you have to do them all the time. I'm bored. Filmed a couple of stuff. I'm not going to put the actual clips in here, so I'm just going to give you guys some pleasant B-roll of essentially what I was doing. Thursday was my final day, my critique day. Very excited. Excited to be done. I've been working hard on this. Um, at this point, I have lost the ability to render things and make hands. My hands in the picture look really weird and so does my face. It actually doesn't look like me, it looks like my mom, which is funny that I kind of default to her face. I'm like, that was fun. Some people didn't really understand some of the assignments. There was one person, their artwork was really amazing, but um, the teacher didn't really explain. They, they put out this big thing that was like, how to make a personal project. Choose any medium, choose any size. But this is a drawing class, right? So you'd assume it was like a drawing prompt a drawing medium no oil paint and so it was like really good other people yeah some things were like you know in miraculous ladybug how one they have like a void mouth where it's like there's you can't see like a tongue or like they have too many teeth that's kind of what it looked like no friday rolls around have absolutely no recollection of what happened other than uh, we took Buttercup to a vet and <laughs> we were in the car and she like stretches out and then she just lays down like this and doesn't move and I was like oh great we killed her she's dead I'm, like looking at her kind of laughing because I was like she can't be dead like that would be so horrible if she just straight up but no she was breathing she was asleep just dead asleep apparently it's a very normal thing for guinea pigs it's called death napping that was great. I was like, well, we killed her. <laughs> of course, I have to put those disclaimers because she put me like, you like killing guinea pigs. And it's like, actually, I would rather them be immortal and never die. So forever puppies. They're kind of like forever puppies, huh? Saturday, we got this lovely shelf that I put together. Very happy to have a nice resting place for uh, Thomas and Biscuit's ashes. Uh, because the other shelf was really rickety like if you like walked close to it it would wiggle and so that was really uh, anxiety inducing also I have a couple of like artworks from my grandmother on those things and like a mirror um, that was hers from the 1950s and so I'm like let's keep this all nice and good a lot of cleaning normally when we are busy things around the house don't get done because we're people and that's how people work sometimes it's weird when people are like you can't afford a maid and it's like you can't afford to be quiet <laughs> anyways sunday i don't remember what we did sunday i think we, we i know we stayed home i think we actually went to walmart and got groceries and then we were like why are we here sunday and monday is always the worst for getting groceries everyone and their mom is like getting food it's kind of a crazy day if you're just kind of you know going for a casual like we need noodles and like that's it you know and we actually found these like ink box temporary tattoos obviously not sponsored whenever we do get sponsored by anything even if it's me we will have a sponsorship party we were applying the temporary tattoos let's do i'm gonna do the bird and the bee no i'll do the bird in the book I will purchase more if I'm me likey and me want tattooy. Do you feel cool? You're doing all these cool Julian poses I'm now. Just to, like, get <laughs> <laughs> Did I start over? And you will look beautiful. Intern, Photoshop out the dead skin. Do it now. Do it now. Well, I also rubbed like way harder on my arm than I did on yours, I think. Or maybe you just like, when you vigorously wash your arms the way you do, maybe that's what happened. Oh god. Just wipe some more. Oh wait, and then I have to let it dry. Wow, I really just fucking destroyed my skin. Cool down, baby. Calm down, baby girl. Oh lord. What? Do not apply it to neck, upper chest, intimate areas, or irritated or damaged skin.
and my skin is red and angry like I got a real tattoo. <laughs> they didn't turn out too great. I think you need to, obviously they're Walmart quality. It's like a Walmart quality amputation. There's gonna be some bone there. It didn't like fully set. And at first we thought maybe it's just cause I have a skin condition. We were like, maybe that's what happened. But I just think they're not as high quality as the ones that they sell on the website, which is a real shame. Real shame. Monday rolls around. Good morning, it's Monday. They're paving our lot. Are they vacuuming it? Are they vacuuming our lot before they do this? Our apartment complex is trying to up their value by refinishing our lot, which is just making it darker. Um, and so there's someone outside vacuuming. There's someone over there vacuuming the lot to get rid of the dirt on the lot. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be my week. I was thinking about whether or not I should film something else besides this. Um, and I don't think that's going to happen. Yes, I am hungry. I'm tired. And now we have to listen to that. Vacuuming. Alright. It is currently 6.30 p.m. Hello. And welcome to a very intense week. Um, it's not that intense right now. I, I'm obviously this is dramatics. Um, we got a notice this afternoon that said that we are not allowed to leave our apartment or enter it within the hours of 8 a.m. to 5 to 6 p.m. Um, not even really like leave the house anyway. So this is not necessarily trapping us anywhere. We very much like to be at home, but um. We're starting off the night with a cutting board. <laughs> We're starting off the night with dinner because it's 6 p.m. And so making food so we don't have to leave the house. I'm really glad that we did a whole bunch of grocery shopping because now we really don't have to leave the house unless there's like a medical emergency. Get to cooking, I wanna get a tackle box from Walmart and spray paint it a lovely color uh, because they only come in black metal ones because I need something to transport my stuff around next semester. I have a lot of ink that I have to carry. And last semester, I just did it in a tote bag. And I don't want to. I don't want to. We vacuumed for the first time in like two weeks. That was good. So Tuesday night, after we went to Walmart to see if there was a tackle box for me, which there wasn't, the only one weighed like 30 pounds, we read the notice a little bit more closely and it said not only were they painting the floors but they were also going to be power washing the doors so i made this garbage strip out of like plastic bags and duct tape and essentially just duct taped our door shut which was really helpful because the weather stripping is gone and so we get a bunch of like cold drafts in the house and unfortunately, Wednesday morning, we woke up and found out that they had just completely power washed through our barrier and it was all over our floor. Yeah, yes. I don't really remember anything else that happened this week other than Tuesday. I was told by my professor that I can pick up my sketchbook Tuesday. It will be at school in the locker. So I go and it's not there. So you may be asking yourself, where did it go? Where did my shit go? And I still don't have an answer for that. We went back again Wednesday and then back again Thursday. And she told me where it would be and it wasn't there. And I've emailed her twice. And I've also direct messaged her through Canvas and I haven't heard anything back. So if I see some of my fucking sketchbook pages on eBay, I'm gonna be real fucking pissed off. Besides that, I think Wednesday we went to the bookstore. That's like 20 minutes away from here. And I bought some books that i was looking for i literally don't remember anything else i wish i had more to show you but i, I don't want to one film during critique or during other people's projects i don't want to film while i'm working at school because people are nosy and also i don't want to be like hey i have a youtube channel hi i don't know i'm very weird about weird and self-conscious about that so yeah, that was a week in my life of uh, finals week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your finals weren't too stressful and if you're still going through them, sorry. Um, but if not, I hope you have a great winter break and a very stress-free one. See you guys later. Bye-bye.